Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Chris Mulkey here in for Brittany Van Voorhees. Good to be back and we are looking at an active weekend, but not yet. This morning, surprisingly warm. This morning, dry. Later on, things are changing, but the big question everyone's asking, is this going to be Charlotte's first chance at snowflakes? Well, not likely. The forecast is completely changing. Even the mountains are looking to be less snow. This is overall a pretty warm system for February. If we were on the colder side of things, this would be a historic snowstorm. So we're actually lucky that we're on the warmer side of things. But regardless, this is going to be a rain event. Widespread rain tonight heading into tomorrow. So here are the words you need to know. This will be a rain event. Little to no snow. It gets windy tonight cold tomorrow. So these four words are going to be the epitome of your weekend, but we're actually living the best part of the weekend right now. We're at 50 degrees. We're only going to reach 55. So that means we're not going to see a lot of sun. We're seeing a lot of cloud cover today, and then it's a waiting game for the rain to eventually arrive, and it will be here. Our hourly forecast keeps us not even a chance for rain for this morning. Barely anything up to three. I think it's at three o'clock that we have to have the umbrellas out. By the time you get to the evening, the umbrellas are going to be up because widespread rain by seven o'clock will start hours of rain through the evening and through the overnight. So here's the mess. Here are the pieces on the board per se. We have a low pressure system down to the south and then this guy right here. That is an upper level low, so that's going to feed the system. And that's what's also going to drag in some slightly cooler air that's going to change this over to a more snow event for the mountains and drag in what's called cold air damming where that cold air just gets backed up against the mountains. But again, this isn't going to be a major cool down. So temperatures today hovering in the 50s. Here comes the rain. This is 3 p.m. This is 5 p.m. This is 7 p.m. So after three o'clock, I think is really when the rain starts to roll in, but likely the sun is going to be set by the time we're going to see it for hours. And these are some heavy rain rates. At times it's really going to be coming down. Heavy downpours, seeing some of the reds pop up here on the map by about midnight or just before we're going to see a rain snow mix in the mountains. Keyword the mountains. You're mainly just seeing rain for the Charlotte area, but it looks like some dry air is going to eat into the rain totals and also the potential snow totals. So this little dry slot is going to dry us out for your Sunday morning. That's a break from the rain, break from any snow, but then the back side of the system drags in some colder air. So I think the best chance for accumulating snow and it could be really coming down with some of these rain rates for the mountains is about late morning heading into the early to mid afternoon. Then by the end of the afternoon, we're done. So by the time the Super Bowl is starting, I think Charlotte, you're done with the rain, maybe some lingering snow up in the mountains and then we're good for the overnight. So we had to really adjust our snow totals here. The trace to one inch is around Hickory, maybe northern Cleveland County. That's the farthest south that it's going to go but only about two to four inches possible for the mountains. And I even brought that down a little bit for Boone and Blowing Rock. I think you're in that one to three inch range. Banner Elk close to that three inch mark, and it's mainly the tops of the mountains that are going to see most of that snowfall. So our weather impacts not really affecting here in Charlotte besides just the general rain. It is at a low to a medium threat the higher you go up the mountains, of course, because there's going to be more snow. So our guy roofing seven day forecast. We are looking at one of those forecasts that are a quick cool down down to the 40s and then boom right back to the 60s, even the lower 70s on Thursday. We are going to have a little bit of rain on Wednesday. By the way, my bar jumped here. Valentine's Day is on a Tuesday and then this is going to be a nice little warm up. So yes, it feels like winter this coming Sunday, but at least we're right back to a warmer trend again just a couple days from now.